OK, so on this video, I'm going to show you how to um, how to screw two sections of wood together um, to make sure that the screws lie flush on the piece of wood and which basically means just level so they're not sticking out on the piece of wood and also how to make sure that the counter sunk um, and um, pre drill a hole so that the wood doesn't split. So first off, I'm just using a small piece of wood to show this. So I'm going to find the middle and just cut it in half. Uh, so measure the distance and just put a dart and you just use the tri square to loop it round. And obviously mark down the sides as well to make sure that you are sawing straight down the line. OK, and do it on the other side as well. Then set it up in the bench hook and then just pull back three times and then cut through. Uh, the piece of wood. Don't forget to check that you're going straight down the line. OK, so that's what we're after. You can see back a little bit. I want this piece to be screwed into this piece, this bit being flat across. It's almost like it will be 90 degree angle across it. OK, so at this stage, I need to uh, measure the total distance of this piece of wood and then half the distance. <clears throat> so this thickness is about 18 millimeters, so halfway should be about nine millimeters. OK, and then on this piece that's at the top, I'm then going to measure in from the edge nine millimeters and put a dart. The reason why I need it to be halfway, so nine millimeters is half the distance between there and there. If if it's nine millimeters in, then the screw will be going through perfectly in the middle of this piece of wood. So it needs to make sure you need to make sure that the screw is going through the center of this, otherwise it won't connect properly, and it will be it'll be weaker. So half the distance. Then I'm going to use the tri-square uh, tri then just to make sure it's a level all the way across. OK, so I've drawn my line um, across the piece of wood, which is, should be nine millimetres in all the way. And now I'm going to measure just in uh, 10 millimetres from this side. I'm going to put um, a, a drill a hole for the screw to be there. I'm going to measure in. Um, 10 millimeters on the other side as well. Like you would usually put at least two screws in. Uh, if you don't, then it, it, it's not going to be a very strong connection, and also it makes it kind of rotate on that one screw. So you'd always put, you'd always usually put at least two screws in. OK, so make sure that the, uh, the ruler is flat against the edge and just mark the 10 millimeter. And I would do a little dash, just do it slightly below, mark a little dash across and effectively it's like X marks the spot. So I'm going to drill in the middle between the two. OK, so I'm going to drill a hole in, in between those uh, two spots um, and I'm going to countersink which basically means create like a little uh, V in, in the wood that the screw head sits inside. Okay, and then I will just clamp that down with a, either a quick release clamp or a G clamp so it didn't, doesn't move around. Just remember that that section slides up and down and that then clamps it up. Now, obviously, safety glasses on your eyes to make sure that no many bits go in your eye or anything. And you can see, if I just pause it for a second, you see this button here on the side, that button makes it go forwards, so it rotates and it will drill forwards. And there's one exactly the same on the other side that will make it uh, reverse. Now, you only really need to have the reverse on um, if you're using a screwdriver, sometimes when using a drill, but you might use the reverse to get out easier. But usually, if you are reversing 
when you're drilling through, you can just pull it straight back up again and it'll come without any problem. So line it up, put your hand on the back, hand on the back of it to try and guide it to make sure that it's going to be going, the drill's going to go straight through and, um, and make sure it's going vertical. And, uh, and make sure that when you're drilling through, you don't twist the drill at all, because if you do, um, it will snap the drill bit. The drill bits are only very weak, are very, uh, they, sh they shatter quite easily. Okay, so drill through. And on the very end here is the countersink bit. So if you push down a bit further once the drill's gone in, it will create a V shape for the top of the screw. You can see where I'm pointing to. And push, push down firmly and just create that V shape. Now, the size of the circle needs to be the same diameter as the top of the screw. So you can see I'm just checking it's the same diameter or slightly bigger. So if you just test it by turning the screw upside down and just seeing whether the diameter is the right, is the, the same or slightly bigger. If it's not, just go a little bit deeper. So you just push down a bit more just to make the, the V, the, like the, the cone shape a bit bigger. Okay, once you're happy that they're both um, both the right size and it'll fit nicely, what you're going to do next is you're going to then place the other piece of wood into another vise just to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to use the screwdriver. I'm going to use the one on the actual drill here, or you can use a regular just screwdriver out of the tool cupboard. Again, make sure it's in the forward motion, otherwise it won't drill in. And it's got numbers on the side. I tend to have it on a lower number to start with, so like a four, you two, a four would be fine. And then if you need a little bit more power, you just turn up the numbers to make give it a little bit more power. But if you have it on too high, then when you put the screw in towards the end, it can split the wood. So you have it on low, and then when you think you need a bit more power, you can just turn up the numbers on the power of the of the uh, of the, the screwdriver. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the screws in just through the wood, just so it's easier to hold. Not all the way, just a tiny bit. You just see it comes through a little bit. Most of it should still be sticking out of the wood. OK, and it just makes it a bit easier now. So when I line this up, I just then have to screw the remainder on. So you hold it in place, line it up. And you've got to push down when you're doing this, otherwise it can make the wood lift up. So you have to put a bit of pressure downwards. Again, I would go down halfway for each, just to make sure it doesn't slip. You can hear that noise, that, that, that noise that it makes, that's um, basically to do with the power setting. So if you've only got it on full, then it, it kind of stops and it almost uh, just turns on itself. And you can see both of those screws are perfectly aligned and they're both flush with the, the top of the wood. OK, if you wanted it to make it a bit more permanent, you could put glue as well. So sometimes you can glue and screw to make sure that it permanently won't come off. But the advantage of just screwing is that if you ever want to take it apart, obviously you can um, at a later date and then you can always screw it back together again if you need to. All right. Thank you very much.